Good morning, everyone. Live from Canada and the U.S., it's Spirit Sessions. I'm your host, Rhonda Elliott, and I'm here with my two co-host, uh, their co-host, Teresa Warren and Bex Marie. And we have a special guest from the Akashic Network with us today. Have you heard that diamonds are a girl's best friend? Well, I'm going to tell you that what our guest is going to share with us today is even more powerful and very exciting. And let us introduce um, Andrea Jones Stefanowski. And you can catch her Thursday nights at 7 p.m. with her show, The Sacred Chakra Flow. Welcome, Andrea. Hi, how is everyone today? I'm so happy to be here. We want everyone to share this out today because we had a lot of shares last week. So if you can ask them, everybody to share this out, take a minute, like it, heart it up and share it out. We would be so appreciative and uh, get spread the light, spread the light. Eh? Andrea. Yay. Um, we're just waiting for it to come live. Or so we can start sharing it out. And um, heart it up, like it out. We had some great comments last week um, from Tig. She said she wants her inner child to come out and play. And so many people were blown away by that meditation that Mike did that uh, they're doing it on the replay. And we've uploaded it to our own um, YouTube channel now so you can find it and even easier than scrolling down through all the great shows on the Akashic Academy Network. So uh, all those things will be... <coughs> in the comments, as well as uh, Andrea's um, uh, um, links to her pages. So you can find that all there. So I'm just uh, waiting to see us, and we're, we're, I think we're live now for sure, and we're on going. And yes. So everybody share it out. We like to share it out, and come on in. And so Andrea, without further ado, Share with us the secret of your diamonds. Hello, ladies. Hello. I am very, very happy to be here because, as you know, or if anyone who knows me knows that I am totally enamored with the Herkimer diamonds <clears throat> and everything about them. I go and I hunt them myself. They are the most powerful of the quartz tribe, and all, all crystals and gemstones are in seven specific tribes. And um, the quartz are the trigonal tribe. So it, it represents the number three, basically. And it's a pure um, form because it's grown in carbon over 400 million years. And it doesn't have a stand on it. It's free forming within the carbon of the stone within the earth. So it's very powerful, the purest form. And it is an, it's a double... Um, entrance and exit way of all energy so you can pull in the energy and release the energy at the same time as well with your chakras and it um, realigns your dna it's, so it's super powerful wow you got girls have any questions at all um well we just um now there is it what's the hardness compared to diamonds are they pretty close oh yeah yeah there are seven and where them. where do you find them? In you Herkimer find them Dun in Herkimer County, New York. So that's a really big county. So there's all kinds of little towns and villages and and places that you can just literally go hike into and and camp and you know look. And you just you know, dig them out of the ground. Yeah, if you're if you're a gemologist or if you just love to find crystals, you'll know different ways to search for them. Like. You search for geodes, you know how to find the geodes, and you shake them, and you hear the liquid, and you, you know, there's a process for everything when you're hunting, so you have to educate yourself and then put into practice what you learn. So once you learn about the Herkimers, like, you want to go to a specific area that um, the people who own the property know the property for many, 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 or know of it, but not necessarily have to own it, but know of it. And um, it has to have, like, really no chemical, no processed stuff that goes on. There's a lot of fracking and stuff that happens in upstate New York. This is in upstate New York. Oh. And there's a lot of fresh water sources that go in there to create these things. And so when you realize that you have a, um, 
well, let's say land that's like this, okay? So the top of my hand would be the field where you, you make your plants and stuff. And then down below becomes a little bit harder, 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 harder. So like down here in the mine area, you'll see people camping down here and you'll have the big prospectors where you're here, like the bang, 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 like a little, you know, dwarf miners is what comes to mind. And they're chipping away at the dolomite rock and then the carbon and they're trying to find a pocket where they're going to find like, you know, the Herkimers that are in a big matrix or a big, you know, stalactite. Can you show us one of your matrix? You have a matrix. Can you show us one? Yeah. Of them? You know what? Can we see if I can share this screen sure. again? Let's real see quick? if we can share. Yeah. That would be great. So let's see. People are coming on and sharing. That's really nice. Um, Tig's saying that's pretty cool. And Emily's here and saying good morning. And Janelle, she's up very early. Well, she probably hasn't gone to bed yet. And she's up saying <laughs> hello from Australia. Claire says good morning. Catherine, Karen Linder Trussell says Ooh, good morning, there. ladies. Oh, gorgeous. Oh. Perfect. Oh, are you guys seeing them? Oh, yeah. Yes. We're seeing them yes, now. Yes, yeah. oh, beautiful. beautiful. Oh. Okay, good. So yeah, like this is amazing. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is an example of a real close up of a matrix. This one is probably only two or three inches big, but it, you know, it holds a lot. You can see there's a little diamond wow. here that's stuck in the rock. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're pretty impressive. But if you're just walking around and you don't know really what you're looking for, it's like, wow, something's glittering over there and it captivates you and you just don't really know. It, it takes a while. I, I spend, um, well, as long as they let me, they close the mine at five at night. I, I like to go to the respectful mines where they give nature a break and they allow you to camp and they make sure that you do the right things with your And do you have a couple names for us? Tools. And so, yeah, look at this. This is a citrine oh. stuck in there. It would not be captured oh. because with another thing with the Herkimer, you can record. This is the carbon where it's grown inside of the dolomite. Very cool. You can actually, um, as a healer, as a practitioner, there's a good matrix. You can... Um, Put in, put intention, put um, the practices, put what you need your person or people to know um, right into the stone. And they take it with them. Oh. And they, um, are you still, am I still with you guys? Yeah, you're still with us, but we lost your pictures. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Let me see if I can get them back. So Herkimers are could, formed from pressure, from the pressure, right? And this is the carbon and the pressure. The carbon becomes the Herkimer diamond under pressure, right? Is that how um, it works? Sort of like? Sometimes it's pressure. Like these are under pressure because they actually grew from the wall. Wow. So what happens is the pre they pressurize with the carbon in them and also the water and then the process of the earth, you know, moving and they're inside of it and rolling and moving. But the, the, the double terminated ones really are like untouched. And the ones that actually have a little bubble in them that here, I'll see if I can find one of those. The endohydros are even more special yes. because they have literally, see how clear that is? Have been oh. not touched at all and they don't attach to anything. So they just grow, look, see? Oh so my here are some with some of the carbon in it. They grew off the wall and then released themselves. So these I like to use to heal Mother Earth. So I'll take those and I'll put intention and I'll bury them in the earth where I feel like it needs to be released of radioactivity or any kind of negative electromagnetic energy. That's what these wow. crystals are for. The double terminated, you know, is a way to pull it in and release it. Uh, you can use that singly or you can use it with another crystal, I suggest if you're going to do earth stuff or self stuff, you use a grounder like an amethyst or obsidian or Iger's eye is good. But yeah, the endohydro you'll see in here, this one actually has carbon and endohydro. So what it did wow. is it, it attached itself later on in its life wow. and became one with, with the earth. And so it has more knowledge. Some of them, yeah, look, they want, this one actually has portals and lines and triangles, which are record keepers. And so probably they had intention already put in them. So we, it's, you could meditate it's really with those ones, eh? You get involved. These are some of the tiny ones that I put in a magnifying um, oh, box. Beautiful. So you can even see the tiniest. This one's probably the size of the tip of a pen. 
Oh, wow. But it's still gorgeous. And it's perfect. This one here is a portal. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I got a better picture here, right here. Oh, Double yeah. portal. So it cuts itself down in, and then this one's cut up. So there's like a pyramid and an, cool. an inverted one. So what I would do with this, this is, these are special. I don't take them out of this box because they're intended for other people, you know? And so if you put a drop of water, it could be whatever you like, a tear, um, um, anything is liquid, right? And then you need to process or change your DNA because that's what Herkimer does. It literally changes your RNA and your DNA. It wow. can do that. And the reason it can do that is when you put the double terminated crystal clear quartz, really any crystal quartz, with enough pressure, <laughs> it creates what's called a piezoelectricity mm -hmm. and it's a spark. It just creates its own electricity. It's but seems like magical and it watches. seems crazy, yeah. but it is true. You can research all of this and study as many hours and years as I have, but it's they're simply amazing. And so I have a hard time. I know you girls have heard me before when, um, and I'm not going to discredit anyone or put anyone down, but in all my skepticism and in all my research in the world, I do use a lot of divina divination tools and a lot of um, spirituality. But my theory is these things here that we're looking at are 400 million plus years old. You cannot tell me these things do not know less than what anything on this earth or in our reality is right now. They know way, 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 way more. And, and you know, just to add to that, I'm not going to go crazy, but we are stewards of the earth. We don't own the earth. We are stewards of the earth. We are, we are pieces of the earth. And, and some people think we're fungus, so we're trying to be eradicated. You know, we're, we're the problem. Um, <laughs> The whole so thing when you was... honor and respect the earth, it comes back to you like three million, billion, trillion, thousand linear times. This is here a um, typical matrix that I like to find my diamonds in. Like I don't like to hit the rock or damage the rock. It's just not my, my gig. Um, so what I do is I make friends with the prospectors and when I relate to them energetically and there's a, a little old man that I love and adore, I just love him so much. And he'll find certain things throughout the year and he'll save them knowing that they're meant for me, you know, and I'll be like, ah, blown away. And like, I'm sweating right now thinking about it. But yeah, I, I just feel like it's really important that you come across your pieces for your own personal use. Now, healings and work and your tools those are different but for your personal use you need to go find them seek them and have them find mm -hmm. you and so these little holes up here is where you'd see a really nice perfect diamond that was built into the rock That's and over cool. here you'll see some pink and tooth stone line that grows right next to it wow those are very cool and you know i know we're all members of the akashic akashic academy Right here is more pink dolomite. And the portals that you see and these diamonds are perfect for the Akashic Academy because they hold um, all the power for your psychic abilities. They're called the attunement stone, actually. That's what they're known as, which is means harmony, best for harmony, you know. And harmonizing, so when you harmonize, you use sound and vibration and fluid body. And that's basically what the crystals are made. We're made of crystals. Everybody here that's looking at this is looking at a liquid crystal display screen. And most everything that we use in technology-wise and, and lasers are clear quartz crystal. So a lot of the earth is raped and damaged just to get these. And so I really want to put a warning out to everyone who's searching for the true Herkimers. Just be really, 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 really wary. Like I just went to a gem show and right next to me, they had one Herkimer diamond. And that means to me, that's an authentic gem show because the ones that are from wherever, Australia, Afghanistan, Pat no, 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 no. China, no, no. <clears throat> They are not Herkimer diamonds. You need to know who found them, where they dug them up. And I suggest that for all your crystals. When I even go to my crystal shop, the lady knows who purchased and sold her the crystals. It's, it's so very important. So funny because the Herkimer diamond has been in my life since I was a little girl. My neighbor down the road was 
uh, a rock hound. And he, I used to be fascinated when I was little. I'd go over to his house, go into his basement, and he, with, um, he had a whole, like a whole display of all sorts of rocks and minerals. But he would show me his Herkimer diamonds, because where I live, it's a couple hours to Herkimer, New York. And I was always so fascinated by them. And no, Rhonda, you can't touch those, is what he'd say, mainly. Um, but, uh, but no, he was, he was a lovely man, Mr. Breck. And uh, his kids were great, and uh, they, I grew up with them. But uh, I, uh, he's the one who I had first heard about Herkimer Diamonds with. And I'd just say, like, it's so interesting to hear about them again. So they've always been in my life that, that way. Oh, they're yeah, awesome. Yeah, I can remember relatives coming from California, and they're like, oh, we're going to the Herkimer Mines. And we're like, oh, my God. <laughs> no, not everybody like loves everything like we do. No. Well, when you're kids, you just take it for granted. You know, you don't think about yeah. running in waterfalls and playing in diamonds. Like that's just like that's how we grew up. We don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So right. once you get older, and plus there are places that are like, oh, you don't really want to go to the KOA, no. Kirkham or Diamond Mine. I'm sorry, KOA. Okay, but, where do you like to go? Which one's your favorite? They ship the diamonds in, and they cover them in sand, and then they give you sifters to find it. So they're oh. they're Herkimer diamonds, oh. but you're not you're not really finding them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. I go to the Ace of Mines diamond mines. I love them. They're awesome. They're cheap. They're really cool. The guy's surly. He's typical old prospector. He will not sell anything online. He doesn't want any website. He doesn't. That's it. He's surly, but. He is also sweet as punch, and he will tell you the secret pockets and where to camp and what to do and when the weather's nice and how to find things. He's just a genius, and that's the ace of mines. I have a couple friends that own property, and I stay with them a couple times a year. Um, any of the campgrounds in that Mill Middleville, Herkimer County area is good. And I've even found geodes and stuff where I grew up. I mean, you know. The rivers and lakes, stuff like this that you're seeing here, I would just know as a kid to bust things open, that things were in there. See stuff like this where the water has just yeah. sat there. And I have some of those up here. No, it's just some Yeah. Stuff. I can look over. Not too far. Not too far from that. So I know. There's another one. matrix. Like I have oh, so many of awesome. these. Druzy, eh? And these these are incredibly awesome, actually. They be, they're becoming much more powerful. Um, not powerful, but much more popular because... They're super powerful in energy healing and, um, you know, clearing your own stones Very and neat. setting them near your own tools, and they will energize, re-energize, and detox. It's a big thing. They're detoxing. The, the diamonds are detoxing. I mean, if you think about that, like I said before, in and out, in and out, detox. Um, you put them on your third eye. You will have dream recall, so you can remember past lives, and then you can actually put your um, blue on your throat and another uh, Herkimer and then green and then a couple Herkimers around the green because the Herkimers are specifically for the heart chakra. They go with all heart chakras, all chakras, but the heart is what, what it works off mainly. And what will happen is you can go back into your own records, correct your own past um, blockages and things you don't even know, like you don't even know, right? Your past life experiences and traumas, you can go back in there. Even the ones that like occurred and didn't work out the way they were supposed to be, you can go back and, and fix those with the Herkimers through d dream states and um, what, is, what, is, what am I studying now? Hypnotherapy, cognitive behavioral therapies, tapping therapies, they're just, you know, I mean, it's wow. an all over fantastic thing and I um yeah and I realize that now you know I don't take it for granted anymore I have special jars certain areas where some are kept some are kept exclusively in water because when I broke it open they were in water I'm like they have to be in this water until whoever needs it needs it like yeah I'm getting ready to maybe um have that as my main source of giving to the world because I know where to find them. They actually find me this this past July on July 7th. So 7, 7, 17, I found 33 perfect Herkimer diamonds with portals cool. in and out. And I just knew at that time, look at this green stone. I knew at that time they were meant for certain people. So I put them in envelopes and little by little, 
I, these people have been finding these. And, and that's another thing with Herkimer Diamonds. If you find, um, like, let's say you three girls, you know, you have a show and you have a bond, right? So if you each have a Herkimer Diamond and then a power one, okay, so you have one that might be maybe like a taller one, and you each have a, a clear one, and you're together and you set an intention, a prayer, whatever you want to call it, um, and you all leave, you will all still be completely connected by that diamond. So oh, there will never be a glitch. There will never be a problem. You will always be in tune. You can do that with your families, your children. You can make elixirs out of it and drink it. You can put, wrap it in your bandages and wounds, and it will heal your wounds. And, like, I think it said in three to four minutes, actually, the stone starts to vibrate and correct DNA. I mean, that's proven. Proven. Ooh. So cool. I so, think there's a road trip in my future. Yeah. I'm going to yes. <laughs> gonna have to hide them Let's in my wheel from my car to bring them back across the border. But, yeah, you know. Oh, oh really? I love it. Andrea, do you have a little process? We have about, you know, four or five minutes. Do you have a little process you, you can share with us, like one of your little meditations? Sure, I would love to. I would love to. So, um I think I, I can't see you girls anymore. I don't know why. Can you still see me? Yeah, we can see you perfectly. See you. There. Can okay. you see yourself? Doesn't matter if I see myself, and I know how beautiful you three are. So, <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> I would love to. Um, when you girls asked me to do this, I thought about um, river, like a rushing river, as a cleansing modality, okay. and it made sense because a lot of these diamonds have pieces of water from 400 million years ago that was rushing. So these lakes were were glacial and they pulled back and some of them had rivers and streams and creeks and so a lot of that is inside of these diamonds. So I figured why don't we, since this cures all of our chakras at once and it's a beautiful Sunday, it's Palm Sunday here. I don't know where yep. it, what it is Palm all over Sunday the world. Here. But yep. Palm Sunday we here. We can go ahead and we can think about these. I showed you and so in your mind's eye you can think about placing one of these on each of your chakras and just Relax wherever you are. Hopefully you're not driving and you can put your hands on your knees and just take a couple deep breaths. We'll do like maybe three deep breaths and hold a little at the top and breathe out as slow as you can until you're relaxed. So we'll do that now. And then I'll guide you through a quick river cleanse chakra meditation and we'll be good for our Palm Sunday. Okay, awesome. All Thank right. You. So let's do three big deep breaths. Good. Now you should be feeling a little tingly all over your body just from your breaths. You can either open your eyes and fix them in front of you on the ground or keep them closed. But I'd like to invite you to think about those beautiful diamond pictures that we looked at earlier, whether it's a matrix or a clear one or one with carbon, whatever you feel calls to you at this moment. We're going to place one high above our head, almost as if we can look up at it. That'll be our crystal clear one. Then all your other Herkimers place on each chakra in your body. You have seven, so your crown, third eye, all the way down, hearts, most important, put a couple around your heart. They're almost chilly, cold, and vibrating. It feels good. In your mind's eye, we're gonna take a walk. We're going to walk down a smooth, beautiful pebble path. A light breeze crosses your body. Your hair blows past you. See the sun twinkling through the leaves. Feels good on your face. You can hear the water bubbling next to you. It's to your right. You still can't see it, so you keep walking a little further. To your right, you see it. knowing that all of your Herkimers will stay in place in this beautiful, beautiful passion, earth bubble that we've created, this dome of love, garden of unconditional peace and purity. It looks inviting. Take off your shoes if you have them on. Hopefully they're leather. 
Place them on the ground next to you. Feeling the earth beneath your feet. Slowly dip your toes in. The coolness vibrates up your body, touching each of the Herkimer diamonds, knowing that there's a point at each end. Each end flows unconditionally. Love, energy, pure light, pure oneness, a rainbow. As you step a little further in, the water comes up to your knees. It's warmer. Up to your belly, to the solar plexus. Feels so good, rushing past your calves, your legs, your feet. Smooth stones beneath your feet. In your mind's eye, look around. What do you see? What do you smell? Do you hear birds? Do you hear the gentle bubble of the water? It matches the water in you. We are all 70, 80, 90% liquid. And when the liquid leaves our human body, we are crystals. Knowing this is truth, we dip our entire body deep within the waters, allowing everything to float beneath the water. No gravity, no anxiety, no stress, no past life karma, no present life worries, no future thoughts, no unknown fear. Just smooth, flowing, clear, energy-filled, earth, life-giving water. I invite you to take three huge, deep breaths, counting into five on the intake, holding for two, and count out for eight on the outtake. Here we go. As you feel your body sink deeper into the smooth water, you think of all your ancestors, all of the energy, all of the people behind you, your angels, your guides, the universal energy and harmony within you. Slowly lifting each part of your body up out of the fresh, clear, beautiful, warm water and crossing to the other side. We are rejoiceful, we are energized, we are free, we are beautiful. We are naked and pure and bright. We are energy, vibration, and love. We swing, we swim around as long as we like. Knowing this is our place, we can sense it, smell it, hear it, feel it, touch it. We created this place. Take a big deep breath in. Coming back down into your etherical body. Feeling your hands on your thighs and your feet on the floor. Dive back deep into the water, swimming along. Come back out the other side, shake your shoulders, shake your hands, take a big deep breath. And your chest to the sky. If you can, bring your hands up into a prayer pose down in front of your heart and say namaste. Namaste. The spirit in me honors the spirit that is within you. Thank you for joining me today, ladies. Thank you for having me on your show. Thank you, Andrea. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. I hope everyone enjoyed that and got something out of it. And, you know, even if you're not here live, if you're tuning in later or you want to revisit this at any time, it works. There is no linear time in your spirituality. 
Um, Andrea, can I ask you to stop sharing your screen? I think you might you may be stuck just there. Well, did I do it? Yeah. There. There we Perfect. go. Yeah, yeah, we're back. Lovely. Thank you. Ah, that was Thank a beautiful, you. beautiful meditation. I, that's another one for the Reach books. Yeah. Yes. Andrea, yes. Can we just do that again. Yeah. You know, normally, I, normally I'll do it a little longer and we'll float around and play around in that space across the river because, you know, I would like you and everyone else to know that you created that in your mind's eye. So you're welcome to go there anytime, anywhere. If you're feeling stressed in the moment, you go relieve yourself. I have to use the restroom. Go to the bubble. Go to the river as fast as you can. And you're good. Yeah. You're good. It's awesome. Yeah, I do that sometimes too. <laughs> Going to the washroom. Okay. <laughs> um, my office. Way out of my house. Oh, yeah. Well, um, so now that I'm back, Teresa, you have a few announcements, and then Bex has a few announcements. Get that. Yes. Um, I'll show you my diamond real quick, my Herkimer diamond. Oh. oh. And last week, who shared the show out the most? Boom, 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 boom was Anne so Monday Johannesson. So you have won a healing with Rhonda. Now all those who Ooh. share it out this week and even on the replay will get to be with me. And I have a couple of choices. I can give you an Akashic Records reading. I can give you an angel reading or a rune reading. Or I'll give you a choice, whoever shares it out the most this week. And you hear us all talk about the Akashic Academy. This is where we all met Emily and Coach Nick. And all of you can join the page. And if you join our membership group, you get even more fun. That's for sure. So yeah. Join us. Come with us. And Bex. I know, uh, it's just, hard. <laughs> my brain's not working yet. Um, so after this is Nourishing Your Multidimensional Body with Kathy Holmeyer at 1 p.m. Eastern. 10 a.m. Pacific, and later today is the Cosmic Ascension Report with Janelle Cameron at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific. And again, we have just launched the um, Spirit Sessions YouTube channel, so we invite you to uh, subscribe, and that's where we'll have all of our replays available to you with easy access, and you can watch them anytime, and we'll put the link in the comments. And thank you all for joining us, and thank you, Andrea. And um, just one more thing, keep stay tuned to the Akashic Academy, this page, because we have a special event going to be posted um, probably tomorrow morning. We'll post it. We're doing a little bit of a fundraiser for Education Through Peace. Um, my minister is going on a sabbatical and going uh, back to Lebanon, where she was a refugee from 35 years ago, and is giving back. And uh, we're raising some money so she can donate it to uh, help children who uh, Syrian refugees who can't um, uh, pay for education get education while they're in the refugee camps then it's education through peace because we all know that ignorance is what fuels negativity in the world and education and learning is what fuels peace and light so uh, just stay tuned uh, there's a couple surprises there's going to be a silent auction and it's all in Canadian fun so you guys get a big discount when you come to our event 30% <laughs> off in Canada it's all 30% off in Canada um, for you guys in the States um, so uh, join us again next week and stay tuned to the Akashic Academy Network today for lots of shows and lots of fun and don't forget Andrea's at 7 p.m. on Thursdays for the sock Sacred chakra flow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm still in that river and my mouth's full of water. <laughs> Love you guys. We're a bit over today, but meh, you know, whatever. Today. Take care. Mercury retrograde happened to us too. Love you. Bye bye.